hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install kali linux 2022.3 edition on your windows machine now first we need virtualbox for those who don't know virtualbox virtualbox is a tool that allows you to run different operating systems on your host operating system so you can see this is my virtualbox i have windows 11 installed and then windows 10 installed as well and i can use any of these whenever i want so basically we want to install kali linux 2022.3 on our virtualbox now first you have to download and install virtualbox so head to your chrome browser and search for virtualbox so you can see the first page over here oracle vm virtualbox and that is what we need so click on it and by the left you can see downloads over here so click on downloads now you have to select your machine so in this case we are using the windows machine so click on windows host and it will start downloading now after downloading you can install with the normal installation for any software it is really easy to install but if you find it difficult to install then check the link in the description of this video and you will see a video that will guide you through that on how to install virtualbox so after downloading and installing virtualbox we need the image file which we are going to use for the installation simply head to kali.org okay so we are right on kali.org so click on download over here and it will take you to this page now you can see kali for different platforms over here this is for mobile this is for arm machines and this is for a virtual machine so we are going with Kali for virtual machine so click on it and it will take you down here now you can see VMware here which is also a virtual machine but we are using VirtualBox so we'll click on VirtualBox and we want the 64 bit of this software so you click on it and it would start downloading now I already have it downloaded but you just have to download it the file is about 3 gig I think so so this is the file in my computer I have this file downloaded it is 2.5 gig so you have to download it and then after downloading this is how it would look like now this version of kali linux has the simplest installation method ever now this shouldn't take three minutes so let's keep track of the time right now so you can see the time is currently 12 49 so let's see when we will be done with this installation now open the file this is actually compressed and then extract the file extract to any folder you are okay with So you can see it has now been extracted now let's open our extracted folder and you can see another folder inside open it now you're going to see two files over here so what you do is open this file over here which is three kilobytes open it in virtual box so i will just left click twice and you can see our machine has been added so basically that's all actually so now let's configure our machine so click on settings up here and then we can go to system and then set the RAM we want to allocate to this machine. So I will give it 6 gig of RAM since I have 16 gig of RAM on my PC. Now the maximum amount of RAM you should allocate to your machine is 4060. 60% 60 on your host computer which is my Windows 11 machine. And then 40% on your virtual box machine. Anything more than 40% you will encounter issues with your host computer. So after setting the RAM over here you can go to the processor. Now you can also set the storage but I will leave that for now. And then click on ok so you can see the details over here the video memory is 128 megabytes which we can change you can also see the storage allocated to this disk which is 80 gig and that is actually by default now we can start the machine by clicking on start over here so guys the installation has been completed so basically we started this installation by 12:49. And by 12.52, the installation was completed. So that is actually 3 minutes. This is actually the simplest version of Kali Linux. I mean, other versions takes like 20 minutes, 30 minutes to complete the installation and run the software. But this is really easy. Now, the username is Kali. And the password is Kali as well. Now you can log in. So we've successfully installed Kali Linux version 2022.3 on our Windows machine. Now, this is really easy and shouldn't take you up to 5 minutes. If this was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.